Hey, what's going on, you goofs? Welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Band of Lord, where we are getting destroyed. We uh, have two castles under siege. Um, and yeah, we're basically just getting wrecked around the, around the clock. Um, sure, we'll pay a ransom. Or we'll get paid for ransom. Um, didn't really record a lot yesterday. Oof. We're losing she balls in our. Well. We can. I don't even know. We're losing a bunch of our castles. We are at war with the Kuzates as well now. For all I know, they're just gonna head over to Huss and Folk next. Um. The Asirai in the west we could probably start making peace with. The Vlandians I'm not really worried about, and the Kuzates are kind of a superpower, so we need to deal with them. Well, I'm up to gaining 3.5 influence, 3.2 influence a day. Not like it's gonna be, not like it's gonna stay like that, but. Let's see. The Assyria, Kuzates, and Vlandians aren't at war with anybody, and the Western Empire is at war with the South. Alright. Let's go bully some random people. No! Nazhon! Uh, those caravans escaped. That sucks. Um, well, we gained points in leadership. That gives us party size, which we love. We need an army. We don't have an army. And why does our influence keep going down, or am I just stupid? Oh, uh, no, I think it's because we lost the castle. Uh, so, let's just recruit a bunch of guys here. We're up to almost 150 men. And Tamna castles under siege. I'm about to lose all of my castles, aren't I? That's... Kind of sad. Yeah, there's 500 people here. We have 258 defenders. It's defendable. Not just not very defendable. So what are we going to do? To make them pay for it? Bully their caravans. Actually, let's go bully this person. Alright. We're losing all of my I'm losing all of my castles, but we'll be fine, guys. We'll be fine. We just need Ow. Um We just need to destroy the Asirai so bad. We just need to destroy the Asirai so bad that they can't even, that they don't, 
that they're not even able to respond. But right now, my main priority is like defending Huss and Folk. It's like our only town, and it's about to be our only settlement. Because we lost everything else. Well, we have a new shield. And it's not like- I know I can get more, um, settlements, but they're like a huge source of my influence right now. And I would prefer not to have like negative 80, negative 200 influence the second I lose all of my towns. Or settlements. So. We're doing well. We actually won't have one man wounded. Yeah, we have- our infantry is just so elite that they have like tier 4 guys going up against like our 30 tier 6 guys. Like, cause that's how many tier 6 guys we have. We have a bunch of tier 7s, tier 6s, that they just can't really get anywhere with it. Like, see, they're, we're, they're, we're literally fighting recruits with tier 6 men. It's no... It's no surprise how we destroy them so quickly. Yeah, they're already down to four men left. I also think the fact that we have, like, so many archers is that we just pick off all of their good units, like their heavy cavalry, before we even... before the fight even starts. Um... Yeah. You are my prisoner now. Because you suck. Ha. <laughs> um... Now we'll take an archer, we'll take their prisoners. The 36 upgrades that we get. See, we have four more legionaries, four more trained infantry, axemen, light archers and a footman, archers. Yeah. You guys see what I'm getting at, right? We just had 36 promotions. 36. And... Honestly, probably just a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Besides this one. Is this one good? Nope, that horse sucks. Yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff that we don't need. So, we have 150 men now, that's what we're up to. 259 defenders, 574. I don't think the Asirai have the men to take Huss and Folk. I know the Kuzates do, but I don't know if the Kuzates are going to come all the way down here. They're probably just going to go somewhere else. Um, so yeah, we can go ahead and raid this village, we're plundering, like, minor amounts of gold. Here's some villagers, go kill them. Wait, here's a caravan, we need the caravan. Kill the caravan. We trapped him in the mountains. They're actually, like, really fast. Wow, they're using that army as cover. That's smart. 
All right, we will cut them off. Now here's the plan. We have we have really good speed and their speed really sucks. So we're gonna chase these guys down. Um more prisoners for us. And then we'll probably just go drop them all off at us and folk, trade everything away, get rid of all of this weight that's on us. And, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and charge. We're only ten minutes in. Yeah. And also, like, what is, like, a party of 20? Like, we just destroyed a party of 110. These guys only cavalry? Okay, no. Yeah, like, these guys aren't going to be able to do a lot. I mean, unless they are, like, so good that they shoot me down. But yeah, I'm looking at these guys, and, like, these guys might be a little bit of a challenge. Oh, actually, never mind, they're just light archers. But, like, some guys could be a little bit of a challenge. Like, if you have, like, a party of 30, but they're all tier 7 troops, then they're way more annoying. But then, like, we're fighting these guys, and they're in about 90% of their archers, like, the, all these archers here, that are light archers and normal archers are tier 3 troops. So it's like when we have elite guys, like these elite men of Viatans, or however you say them, that are tier 6 troops, they're pretty, it's pretty, it gets pretty easy to win. And that's why I like terrorizing these smaller parties so much. And it's especially easy when you're outnumbering them as well. And as an axe, or a mace. Mace actually does a lot of damage to shield. It's like only it's like the only thing they're good for. So like always, let me know what you want to see more of. Um because I can always try to get it get more of it. But this archer is like still alive, bro. This this, this guy is crazy. So that's it. Um, all she wrote, we got upgrades. Like again, we got more people getting upgraded to better guys. And then we're almost out of space, so we're gonna head back to House and Folk. Like I said, we're going to. Hopefully we get there and it's not under siege. Watch there be like an army of 800 that's just sieging it the second we get there. It is not under siege. Um, we're going to... Trade away all that garbage. We also have way... Too much um, food. We only need like 221 fish. We only need like 250 grain. We don't need that. And I'm just gonna sell these because I had them in case I wanted like a slower horse, but yeah. So 22,000. That puts us over 276 uh, k okay. yeah so we're in four wars right now um destroying two of them and losing and like destroying two of them one of them we're not even fighting in yeah oh I can manually move oh that's awesome 
Give me a boy. Can I like fast forward move? Oh, I can't. I can manually move, but I can't like fast forward then, so it makes it like way slower. Alright, so these guys have a speed of 4.7, we have a speed of 3.7, wow. Yeah, we're like only fast in the nighttime. Otherwise, we were kind of just slow as crap. We're also only really fast in steps and plans. Wow, did we like... We withstood a siege. That is... Tamna Castle is alive. Alright. Hello. Would you like to be smite? Actually, before we do that, we're gonna... Yeah. Recruit the prisoners. Just so when we fight them... We can do better. <laughs> um... And we charge. I'm just gonna order full charge here. We don't need to waste any time with formations. Um, Okay, so, what, um, what I'm planning on doing, um, in the near future with this campaign is I'm probably gonna end up making, um, our, my own kingdom. So, if you guys want us to make, like, an imperial kingdom or a non-imperial kingdom, let me know and I can, um, I can try it. See how far we get before we get absolutely slaughtered by the 10,000 men of the Northern Empire. You guys know what I mean? Oh, we're taking a little bit of heat. We've lost two guys to wounds. Or, they're only wounded. Make that three. But they're also already down below 70 troops. Yeah, this one's looking like another slaughter fest. Are we even gonna have one dead? Wow, that's pathetic. Alright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's seven men left and they are retreating. Oh, that was a friendly. Well, we won. We gained 19 influence from that, that's... It's Lord crazy. Alright. Unfortunately, actually we can't take all these troops, and I will tell you why. Because we're gonna immediately go dump them... ...in the castle, us hoping... And assuming they don't dip, they're dipping. Okay, I swear to god, if this castle gets attacked one more time... Yeah, look, we have tier 6 and 7 troops. Like, this is what I'm telling you guys. Alright, but anyways, time for the 18 Assyri peasants. 
You are the garrison now. And we can put in these, like, militia. Um, yeah, these supposed to be militia <laughs> that have actually just been chilling in our party the whole time. Yeah, we have, we have a good amount of defenders here. Granted, they're all peasants, but still not bad. Now we manage prisoners, then we just throw everybody in the castle. <laughs> and we dip. Now, if this stupid castle gets attacked one more time, that's what I thought. And owner of a castle? I'm a part of it, but there's no way I'm winning. Alright, yeah. So my feudal and... So... I have plus 2.6 influence per day, which is good, assuming I only have negative 43 left. Um, honestly, I could probably just keep stopping these raids and then that works just fine. Like, Hakuan. Look at this, we have a massive advantage again, so we're just gonna blast through them. Like, because when it says we have a massive advantage, it's probably a tell that they have low-tier troops. And I know I've been going on about low-tier troops so much, but also outnumbering them by 40 is also another thing. But the reason I talk about low-tier troops so much is because they actually have, like, better health, health stats and attack stats and shields and stuff. Like, you're obviously talking that, like, if we have 60 tier 6 troops, we're gonna be... 80 tier 1 troops, or 80 peasants, you know what I mean? Actually, those guys look pretty stacked. Or some of them do, anyways. And then you have, like, these recruits right here. Alright, guys. I got a kill. I got another kill. I think I got another kill. Or do I only have two? I only have two. Um, also I haven't really been playing a lot with my sound on. Because... Uh... I don't want it to kind of override my talking. Or my narration. If you'd rather me just not talk at all and just show you gameplay sliders, I can I can do that. But oh my god, we actually lost a guy. Like dead, lost a guy. Oh wow, we're losing a few guys. Okay. All right, I see it. I see it. They aren't great guys, but we're losing some. Yeah, we've lost, like, what, a trained infantryman, which is actually pretty good, and a few tribesmen, which sucks, so yeah. Yeah, this isn't... Isn't our best battle, but also that's not... That's saying a lot, because... That's not saying much, because... Um... We can sometimes get out of it without losing a single guy. I'll tell you what, though, we are well due to get attacked by, like, an army of 600 and then just get absolutely murked. And I'm pretty sure they're retreating, so, yeah. If they are leaving. Yeah, 57 deaths to 3 deaths, that's pretty nasty. And you can tell, like, who has, like, good kills, like... All of her best guys have a crap ton of kills, like... It's common sense. You are my prisoner now, haha. Uh, again. And... Oof, war horses. 
Uh, well... Yeah, we'll just take all their prisoners and stuff. Um... I need some more crossbowmen. Just upgrade the crap out of people. Light archer and a regular because we need cavalry. Um... As for these people... Uh, are these things, I guess. Give me all the money. <laughs> and that gave us a bunch of influence. So again, we're only down to negative 19 now. We'll actually have positive influence by the end of this video, assuming how long I make it, because I'm not going to end it here, guys. We're going to keep doing this. So, yeah, the, the Asirai... I've been single-handedly taking down, they're starting to regain some men, but... We've been single-handedly taking down the Asirai. We have six prisoners. All of them I have taken, all of them are prisoners that I have taken. And we are going to head over to Hassan Folk. And then probably look for more fights. Hassan Folk has been besieged by 600 soldiers right now. Oh. I mean, we're losing a lot of... We're losing a lot of money, though, guys. But... I don't think it totally matters because... of what we keep earning as well. Like... We're about to sell all this stuff. Bang. 28,000. We're back up to 284k. Like... Um... Do we have a governor of the town? Yeah, we do. Okay. And we also need some money in the reserves. So we'll do that as well. So yeah. We're, on average, gaining money. To say the least. And oh man, that's a lot of people. Where are they going? There's a lot of people right there. Is that just like a whole army that just disbanded? I am not gonna fight him though. Yeah, they got like a... They got like a whole army right there. Actually, they're spraying now. Get this guy. Oh, I swear to god, if these settlements get attacked one more time. Actually, I'm fine with it because... We get more influence, but... Um... Sure. You can be free. Yeah, they hit this like a bunch of tier three guys for a crew here. 4.4, we have five speed. The speed is so important because it helps you running away and it helps you catch people. You know, we are at war. I'm waiting for the day, like, somebody actually, like, surrenders to us and, like, pays us, like, 80,000 gold to let them go free. And then I'll just decline and say, no, die. <laughs> um, let's actually focus on their archers. Or we can have our infantry focus, or our cavalry focus on their archers. And then we can just have the other guys charge, our, in, our infantry charge. They're on the water, we have them pinned. There's the, the castles like right there. I love how Mountain Blade makes their maps like 
if you guys don't play this game, you should probably get it. And I know, like, you guys can't see it the best because of my terrible-ass video quality. But it's honestly such a good game. I would recommend 10 out of 10. I'm just throwing chaplains in the middle of them. Um, yeah, here's, like, all their archers. I mean, just, like, yeah, they're running. Bully their archers. And then you look, look at here's a whole of our friendly, friendly units. Ha! Uh, here's a bunch of their infantry. Oh! I just killed three recruits with one swing. Yeah, they're like running. Yeah, I can see. Um. So, ladies and gents, this campaign's been going pretty well, and we're finally about to have positive influence again. But we're still criminals in the Western Empire. Oh. I actually have six kills, I'm not doing that bad. There's our infantry, we're finally like starting to fight them here. Uh, and here's our archers. Yeah, that was to be expected. An absolute slaughterhouse. Hey, look at the amount of recruits they have. Like, you're gonna raid a village with like 90 recruits. Just like, you just gave a bunch of peasants axes and just said fight. <laughs> That's, that was an easy fight. You are my prisoner now. I don't need that one soldier. Um. I'm also, like, out of men, so, yeah, I'm sorry about that interruption of noise, guys, hey, we're up to positive influence, <laughs> from negative 200, it took Five videos! Actually, I think it was only like three to get back to positive influence, and we only have positive one. Does that mean we might be able to start hitting more people? 7,000! Honestly, yeah, I'll just free him. I don't care. Just paying people. We're just letting them pay. We're just letting them, like, pay mansa, ransom. Like, cough up the money, fools. We still have more prisoners than you do. Like, who you have, like, you have my brother in custody. That's, like, literally all you have. That's not leverage. <laughs> Alright. Uh, measly 6,000 coins. We're up to positive influence. We have four now. Um, let's see what the armies are doing. Traveling to Amprella to besiege. Did we lose Amprella? We actually lost Amprella. That's stupid. Um, anyways, I think it's time we start fighting back. Oh, these people actually have a good amount of men. More than we do. Um. Yeah, we can start fighting back. Let's go bully the Kuzates, I guess. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'll probably make this, probably end this video in about five minutes. Unless we get it, we can go siege castle. Um. No tribute will be paid. We have stained, but yeah, we're gonna peace the Vlandians. Like, literally nothing happened. There was like 300 total casualties. They're just like, okay. And we can recruit a guy. I think I'm gonna hold up on that for now. So, we're down to three wars. The Vlandians pieced us. Alright, Umbrella's under siege. We're gonna head up there. And there's rebels in Sionan. Alright, Umbrella is taken. Now we can... Go to Umbrella anyways, and probably get jumped in the process. But I'm not totally worried about it, because we have a lot of men. Like... We have more men than like 90% of the people. Um... I'm not even a part of this, yep. Gifor? Who's Gifor? Age of two. Alright. Just don't worry about that. Oh, we're getting jumped. Okay. Like I said. We're, it was bound to happen at some point. Well, this fight's gonna... I think it will really well or really poorly. I think, um... Actually, let's just go ahead and first check what they have. Because for all we know, they can have, like... Okay, so they have cavalry. Do they even have archers? <laughs> they even have archers? How many archers do they have? They don't even have- oh, they do have archers. I just, like, can't see them at all. Oh, that is, like, archers and infantry combined, I think. Oh, man. That's sad. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of men. Okay, they do have archers. They have 56 archers and actually not a good amount of men. Um, yeah, we can honestly just order charge. I think we can win. It's not likely though. So. They outnumber us by a massive margin. Oh, we've gotten a kill, though. Or I've gotten a kill. It'll be a difficult fight. As I hit an axe, as I hit a shield with my axe. Oh man, we're doing decent. Holy cow. Are we winning? We are winning. We are winning the fight. Holy shoot. Oh, we lost. Oh, we lost an elite cat. Oh. Losing some good men. 
be all right. Here, I will dismount and join the fight. Because it's probably better if I dismount than just stand on a horse and not do anything. And get more kills dismounted. Oh, they have like marksmen and everything. It's a pretty good army. Oh, on second thought, I might not have wanted to get off my horse. I'm surrounded! I actually don't want to die, because then I think the battle goes, yeah, not in our favor. But, like, I'm pretty sure, like, when I'm on the field, I have something to do with it. Yeah, now we're going to start losing a lot of men. I had 13 dead. They're down to 78 men, though. They just gotta kill all their elite guys. Oh, that's a lot of red. Come on, we can win. There's some green. Hope. Hope. There's hope. So you're saying there's a chance. I can't believe we're like, we actually might win this fight. Oh wow, that should not have happened. <laughs> 50 dead though, that's... <sighs> Alright, 50 dead men. What do we lose? In terms of like... We lost, a le we lost six legionaries. Okay, yeah, we lost some good men. Five sergeant crossbowmen. Oh no. Hey, we get some looters for troops though. Alright, so now we... Can't... All right, now we just need to... All right, basically, send all the prisoners over. We want this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And this guy. And... Just... Troops into our max. Actually, close to max. Um. Some good loot, though. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we've ate some pain. But. The, tra the voyage to Umbrella might be a success. No! <laughs> Try to get away. Go ahead with that. We're running. We had to make a we had to make a bolt for for friendly territory. Oh, we're getting chased. Wow. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting crushed. Um, we can't even recruit any men. All right, we need money. We need money. We need to go recruit soldiers. 37,000. What do you mean they don't have enough money? Lord God. We'll take a few things back so you can actually, like, sell us money. Alright. 
Well, now we have to go recruit troops. And Tamna Castle's under sea. Oh, God. Hey, there's a crosswind at least. Uh, we're gonna need to kill a good, good bit of looters. We need to get our men back. Lost so much troops. But we're already packed up to 105, so I'm not too worried. Just need to kill a bunch of basic troops. Recruit. Oh, these guys are... Oh, wow, these are... These are they have some good leveled recruits here. Alright. Go. Stab these looters. Wait, no. I meant I wanted to stab you. Send troops. Did lose anybody? No. Alright, good. <laughs> Upgrades. Alright. And recruit the footman. We need upgrades. Wow, we are being attacked pretty bad. Um, So ladies and gentlemen, here's a bit of advice from a player who plays a lot of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Um, I recommend if you are going to um, go to a, a town across enemy territory, probably go the most direct path possible except go somewhere that you know is secure and has a lot of friendly traffic. So if you get chummed by five parties, you can actually survive. Not one of my... person. Hey, we got people go. We got people about to see to make it. Ah, I just need recruits. I have over three hundred thousand dollars, and I have no recruits. All right, a lot of horsemen. That's fine, I guess. But we need more infantry. Go read of. Go just recruit men from here. Makeheb is under siege. Need more men. Recruit all of these troops. I don't care if they suck. Alright, we're back up to 177 men. Or not 177, we're back up to... Um... 132 men. We're getting minor amounts of upgrades. And we are also consistently recruiting more men from our prisoner section. So now that we're up to slightly more, we're now going to join in the continuing siege. And um, we'll do this one. That'll make it at about an hour, and then we will end it. Recruit all. I don't care, we need more money. Uh, gain spearmen. Get a footman. This army of 460 is... Really trying to make something happen here. Uh... Yeah, we'll join the siege. Hopefully they give me the town. That would be nice, but I also don't want to be paying like a million wages, so. And we'll be alright. 
be like a safe place to be with in in terms of like dinars or coins would be to get to like a million, two million. That way when we like start our own kingdom we actually have money to pay for like ransoms and stuff. Alright. So I have four men and I have the men mean meaning Okay. So I have like small amounts of troops. And I'm forgetting how much this horse armor sucks. Or is it or if it's just me. I don't think it's just me, but Yeah. Let's get like our only elite troops left and send them all up the wall first. I've been working on my javelin skills. I mean, I can like hit shields, at least. I gotta try to kick it down again. No. Oh, that hurts. Alright, oh, we're all like right here. They can't kick them both down at once. Uh, maybe they can. Wait, yes, we have more men on the ladder, so I don't think it's gonna fall over as easy. We will attack. Arrgh! I'm immediately surrounded. I gotta kill. I'm doing decent. Oh, wow. We have a wounded man from our party, but... No major losses. I have so much men. What I feel like would be cool if you could do is that if you could have like people that are like... Or like recruits that can like desert from the town and be like, I want to join you, please. We don't like them. Or like, they can start inside the town and they're like actually allied with us. Because we have influence with them. Kind of like Empire at War with like, if you're attacking a planet and then the ground forces are like, we actually like these guys better. We'll fight for them. Uh, okay, so there's a bunch of guys here that's attacking us. These are heavy horse archers. Or archers that are fighting me in melee combat and actually kind of destroying me because I suck. How many kills do I have? I have four. I have 11 kills. I am not doing bad in the slightest. Oh, actually not for long because I'm about to, I'm about to die. Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm surrounded. I can get out of this. I don't think I can get out of this. No! Well, it's alright. We're gonna win. <laughs> Holy cow. No, we lost the Palatine Guard. It's alright. We'll get enough kills. Some guys will get some upgrades. So, only eight dead. That's good. It's not the worst. 
so far. Oh, now there's nine. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how most of the fights, how we wish most of the fights would go. Now, granted, it's how most of the fights do go, but like, when we're outnumbered by, by over 50 men, like we were, this is how we wanted the fight to go. And it started like that, and then it caught, and then we got wrecked later on, because, yeah. So, yeah, now they're just killing a bunch of nomads. And that should be it. They're retreating. Oh, I can just fast forward. I didn't know I could do that. Um, alright. Send the troops. Just kill them. Hey, I actually got a good amount of loot. I got 9%. Alright. Upgrade men. We only got one upgrade there, somehow. And we're at 142 men. Marksman fl Oof. That might be something we want. I think I want that. Alright. Ladies and gents, we're gonna trade our stuff away. We're gonna ransom our person for 13 grand. We're gonna wait here for some time. We're gonna see if we can get a town. Um, new owner? Actually, it might be us. Whoa, look at our influence. Um, I'll use like 20 influence. Yeah, we got it. Alright, so I have two towns and they're on opposite sides of the map. And I really don't have anybody to put governor. Alright, yeah, we'll do that. And we need to... Actually, what are still the festival and games? We have ways to get militia. Uh... So... I'm actually going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. See you all in the next episode. Peace out, guys.